How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with another beer mail. Not necessarily a beer mail. More like a beer bag of stuff. Because that sounds awesome. Um, a porch bomb in the sense of the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Authentic sense of a porch bomb in that this is not mail. This is hand-delivered bags of beer courtesy of Joel. Thank you very much, dude. Um... He lives uh, about a town over from me, and he's uh, bombed a beer on me as of probably the past year. Um, and, you know, I get a couple things thrown his way. He's actually dropped off more beer, especially as of late. He's been going eight shit with beer. Um, I didn't do the last kind of unbagging from him because it was like one beer, and I think it was like I was running somewhere and I didn't want to do it or whatever. Anyway, he dropped off this one today, and I was doing an unboxings in general, so you get an unbagging. There you go, words. But he, uh, I have to catch up. I have to actually give him some stuff because he's been hooking it up. So here's the three banger of beers in a bag. He actually dropped it off in this brown bag on the inside of here, but I can, you can almost see through and I didn't want to see what was in there, so I wrapped it in another bag. So a little, uh, little extra baggins for me. So let's do that. A little Bilbo baggins. Hmm? Off to the Shire to chug some beers. You know how it is. Lord of the Rings. Nerds. So yeah. Three cans of beer. First things first. This piece of shit. It's called Very Green from uh, Treehouse. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. That's hot garbage. Um, let's see. What do we have? Number two. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking absolutely bonkers that he fucking dropped this off. Uh, very Green. Uh, listen, I love me some Treehouse. I think everybody does. Someone says they sucked and they're fucking dumb with a capital B. But um, uh, they dropped this the other day. I'm not one to go and call ape shit and cheese after beers. And um, they did a big, huge release. It was almost like three cases per person, and which is unheard of at Treehouse. It was like a culmination of a bunch of things. Like There's a bunch of snowstorms up here to where they kind of um, bulked up on stock and stuff. And then they dropped this. And, and a bunch of people went up. And I kind of actually, for the first time, went... I kind of want to review that. So I was going to put some feelers out there, but I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm like, I don't like cheese and beer. I just feel filthy or something. And lo and behold, it finds its way to me. God damn. 8.3% double IPA. Now, Very Green is their kind of extra hopped, kind of extra bitted, extra bitten pieces uh, version of Green. Uh, what do we know? If you watch my channel, you know that I am Team Julius. Julius is my favorite beer. And then they make King Julius and then J -J Julius. Um, I think I've only reviewed Julius. I've had all three, but I am Team Julius. I know a lot of people out there are Team Green, but I can't wait to give this world. So, Joel, thank you very much, dude. That is absolutely fucking bonkers. Uh, let's see. Next we have Tilted Barn. I've wanted to review stuff from these guys for a bit. Uh, it's uh, Tilted Barn. It's Milo's Phoenix. And it's American IPA. 8.5% alcohol by volume. On the side here, we have Milo's Phoenix. Born from our desire to improvise and explore, Milo's Phoenix has a simple malt bill, features a distinctive, versatile, and fruity yeast strain, and it's dry hopped with a heavy dose of dank tropical Australian hops and bright citrus forward American hops. And then they talk about Tilted Barn, uh, which is up there in the old Rhode Island way, uh, Exeter, Rhode Island to be exact, and that'd be that. And it's got a really killer fucking label on it. I like that kind of phoenix there with a little bit of it reminds me of kind of like a quilted kind of vibe to it and my future wife who's sitting right over there is um is kind of like makes shit it reminds me of that i'm really articulate when it comes to things like that really articulate with saying the word articulate too and the last one is another tilted barn jam it's the propagator Experimental Rotating Series. Uh, raise the barn one pint. Uh, so let's read about this sucker on the side here. It has, the Propagator Series is our rotating set of experimental beers here at Tilted Barn. Each batch is a unique recipe allowing us to explore new ingredients, processes, techniques. Enjoy this beer while it lasts. It may never be brewed again. Uh, so it says Prop 11A. Um, when I got home, uh, Joel actually texted me and he said did you get those and then there was a thing written underneath it i think he's explaining this beer i don't know what it is yet i purposely said hey man i got him i'm not gonna read anything else he sent me until i fucking do an unboxing on these so i don't know anything that's going on so um if you want to look it up prop 11a um that is the 
version of this beer. I, should, I think they just make one label and just kind of put a stamp on there so you know which one it is. And, uh, man, look at that. Fucking murderer's row of deliciousness right there. So, thank you very much, Joel, for dropping these off. I can't wait to give these a review. Um, one of these might go down tonight. <laughs> put it that way. And, uh, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, classy unbagging. Hopefully you enjoy me, uh, reviewing these classy beers. And, um, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.